Good afternoon. First, I want to commend Kande Yomkela for the extraordinary leadership he has shown in organizing this ministerial and more generally in his role as chair of UN Energy. The report produced last year by the Secretary General's advisory group on energy and climate change has indeed reawakened the international community to the unfinished business of universal energy access. The International Energy Agency last year reported that without an intensified global commitment to action, the number of people lacking access to electricity will only fall from 1.4 billion today to 1.2 billion in 2030. And the number of people relying on the traditional use of biomass for cooking and heating will actually rise from 2.7 billion to 2.8 billion 20 years from now. Quite simply, this condition is unacceptable in the 21st century. It has major adverse effects on human health and development for a third of the world's people. As you know, I have been engaged in the issue of sustainable development now for nearly three decades. Since the Secretary General of the United Nations asked me in December 1983 to establish and chair a new independent commission. The so-called Brundtland Report, Our Common Future, from the UN World Commission on Environment and Development, was published in 1987. Since that time, our definition of sustainable development has been broadly accepted. Development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. There is today much increased recognition that the issues of development and environment are indeed inseparable. In many ways, energy very much links the two. Energy is essential to economic development, and the way we produce and use energy is the single largest challenge to the health of our environment. Thus, universal energy access must be seen as a critical step towards achieving the Millennium Development Goals and the increased use of the cleanest energy resources, energy efficiency, and renewable energy must be strongly encouraged by rich and poor countries alike. Looking forward to the UN Conference on Sustainable Development, Rio Plus 20 next year, I welcome Kande Yumkela's call for the world to embrace three clear goals at Rio. Goals for 2030 that are both ambitious and achievable. Achieving universal access to modern energy services. Improving global energy intensity by 40% and producing 30% of the world's energy from renewable resources. Now, next year has been declared by the General Assembly to be the International Year of Sustainable Energy for All. A welcome endorsement of these objectives and a call to move forward toward this vision in Rio. I hope you can echo the 30-30-30 goals and start us on a path to achieve them. I currently have the honor of participating in the Secretary General's high-level panel on global sustainability. And we are engaged in a year-long re-examination of sustainable development issues, also in the context of global climate change. I can tell you that the issue of energy and of universal access is a key element of our analysis and will be reflected in our report to be issued ahead of the Rio Plus 20 conference around the coming new year. The board of the United Nations Foundation, on which I serve, is presently meeting 
in Oslo. I wanted to share this message with you, however, on the occasion of the important meeting to affirm that, the U that you have in Vienna that the UN Foundation is deeply committed to supporting the Secretary General and Director General Jom Kella in calling for sustainable energy for all. This is a profoundly important initiative for the people of the world who now lack electricity and clean cooking fuels, and also for the rest of us who live in relative comfort but who share this precious planet which is now so gravely at risk. My best wishes to you for a successful meeting, and thank you very much.